Hey guys, I'm Dreya Renee from Poker Central with media and fan favorite John Hess, who did finish the main event in fourth place. John, talk to us a little bit what, about what this journey's been like from beginning to end for you. Well, first of all, I'd like to say <coughs> this is not the first time we spoke this week, Dreya, and it's <laughs> nice to talk to you and, po and Poker Central fans. Um, it's been an absolute dream. Uh, I would never imagine in my wildest dream achieving this accolade and playing through all the earlier stages, you know, back-to-back -back sessions, which is really mentally grueling, had been hard, but throughout it all, I'd like to think I'd brought some fun and light into the game, uh, and people are telling me that they are now sort of showing, getting interested in poker just to have some fun, and I think that's one of the best things I'd like to be remembered for. If I can achieve something like that, not just nationally, but internationally, then I think a lot more people will come into the game, and that's what we all want. But more importantly, we all want to have fun. Right. And I came here with a, um, a buy-in to satisfy something on my bucket list. It's had been for a, uh, a while now. And I, my goal was to make the first thousand where I would cash. And you clearly and did better than that. <laughs> then I thought, well, 500 is good. And I got down to 100, sub 100. I never in my wildest dreams believed I would get onto the final table playing against these fantastic guys and super pros. Uh, I've said it several times and many times before, I would have paid another $10,000 or more to have enjoyed this experience which I've had this last two weeks. Thank you very much for that, Drea, and I hope your fans at home really enjoy the game. Well, thank you so much. And John, just tell us a little bit about how the media attention's been from you. you go, you're like an international superstar now. It's so hard to actually take in. You know, I'm just a regular guy from a small seaside town. With the best fashion in poker. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I said, I'm just from a small seaside town, Bridlington in East Yorkshire, England. A small town of around 40,000, which has no real publicity. And if I could, you know, if I could actually bring a little bit of this success that I've had here over to my hometown, I'd love to think that that was possible. And who knows what might happen next. If people start, you know, sort of liking the game, they may want to come and play with me in Bridlington, which I'd love to do. Which I'm sure they will. And last question, of the final three that are left, who are you rooting for today? Ah, uh, well, I'm rooting for all three of them. I, we, we, we've, we've got the US um, and versus France, I think, at the moment. So I've got to be very politically correct on this. <laughs> the three great guys, and I really hope all of them do well. I can't, I'm not going to pick one out because, okay, I, okay. because they were great. All of them. Everyone. I didn't want to see anybody go out. I mean, because, but that's life. Somebody has to do it. So any of those three that win, I'll be delighted for them. Well, thank you so much for your time and thank you for bringing fun back to poker. Thank you, Dre. Thank you. I'm Dre Renee and that's the 411.